Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? I'm a tea head. I'm a tea head. I'm a tea head. This is Addict Dr. Kent with you. So, how you doing? Can you believe how fast this month is going? It is the 22nd today. Contribution. What will be your contribution to your community? We recognize our spiritual growth when we are able to reach out to others and help them. Basic text, page 58. To make a difference in this world, to continue something special, is perhaps the highest aspiration of the human heart. Each one of us, no matter what our personal makeup, has a unique quality to offer. Chances are that sometime in our recovery we meet someone who reached us when no one could. Whenever it was someone. Whenever it was someone who made us laugh or at the first meeting, a warm or compassionate sponsor, or an understanding friend who supported us through an emotional storm. That person made all the difference in the world. All of us have had the gift of recovery spread with us by another recovering addict. For that, we are grateful. We express our gratitude by sharing freely with others that has given to us. The individual message we carry may help a newcomer only we can reach. There are many ways to serve in our fellowship. Each of us will find that we do not see things better than others, but all service work is equally important. If we are willing to serve, we share it and find it that particular way to continue that's right for us, just for today. My contribution makes a difference. I will offer help in a helping hand today. When we help others, we help ourselves. I can't tell you how many times I've helped a person and I actually got my own answer while I was helping them. So make no mistake about it, you know, there's always a way to help others. And when we do that, it helps ourselves. During the last little bit that we've gone through, I've gone through the steps. You will find that in this YouTube section. Today, we're going to start on the 12 traditions because just because we do the steps, we don't ignore the traditions. Step one 
or, or sorry, tradition one to three are all about self. One, our common welfare should come first. Personal de recovery depends on any unity. This simply means that when we first come into the program, we have to focus on us, not on a relationship, not on dating, not on anything like that. Stay right away from that, you know, because that's really a bad situation waiting to happen. Tradition two, for our group purpose, there is but one ultimate authority, a loving God as he may express himself in our group conscience. Our leaders are but trusted servants. They do not govern. You know, what it's talking about when it says leaders is our government, our GSR, our secretary, our area. We need to support these ministries as well as our home ministry as well. Third, the only requirement for membership is the desire to stop using. You know, NA doesn't promise we'll never use again. It doesn't promise that we'll never have cravings. It doesn't promise that we're never going to have um, issues. It doesn't promise a happy, joy-filled filled life. It doesn't promise that. What it promises is relief from active addiction. You see, the problem's not here, and it's not here. It's here, in the guts. That, that we sit and dwell on the past. The longer you sit in the past, the harder your future and present is going to be. You know, um, there's a poem that you should read, actually. And uh, it's called Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. Read it. Get it. God bless.